And now breathing new life into old instruments. Councilman Kevin Conwell put together a donation drive that will give students a future in music. It's his plan to make Cleveland a better land. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley explains why it all could save lives. The councilman is also a musician. He says this is bigger than music because it will keep kids off streets. He also told me this gives them a chance to impact a crowd that's sometimes hard to reach. These kids play life by ear. But the hands that lead this band are guiding that bunch. Councilman Kevin Conwell steadies them because he moves them closer to a goal. Be a good audience, be attentive. He's gifting the talented. Now, do you have any musical instruments at home? Kevin and his music buddies are taking pieces of their past. What's going on? What's going on? A bunch of old, unused instruments and investing in the future. These kids sharing through a bank of brass, keys, and drums. It's expensive. That snare drum right there costs $1,000. Costs what? $1,000. Derek Holmes, a senior here at East Tech High School, told me. As a kid growing up, I always had major anger issues. Without instrument donations, many kids would never touch music like it's touched him. They noticed the only thing that kept me calm was listening to music or playing music. Idle hands. It's dealing with the idle hands. In a way, music is Derek's gospel. It's kept him off the street. All of this is his sanctuary. I will spread the word to them and tell them, like, that's a great opportunity. Kevin says years ago, music saved him, too. You have to meet the children where they're at. His plan, opening for their best performance, one that will move the world to follow their lead. The councilman says he plans to begin sharing instruments during MLK Day in January at a big benefit concert at Severance Hall. He's encouraging folks to donate instruments at that event. Frank Wiley, News 5.